Why magical kinetic bombardment won't be used? Let's assume that we have magic users that often like to hurt each other. Now the simplest option is to try to blast the other mage directly, but it is not without drawbacks. First the enemy will be often magically protected making our work harder. Second they will try to magic us back making the whole endeavor risky. The idea of hurling non-magical projectile at target using magic is known, it allows to attack from distance, and avoid or overcomes many forms of magical protection if the object is big or fast enough. Dropping object from great height is next logical step that occurred to the mages, spells to magic a mass high enough exists and are reasonably well known. Now my question is what could prevent escalation to the extreme, orbital bombardment? Assuming that spells to put a house-sized object into orbit are available to reasonably powerful mage, and the cost of them does not increase proportionally to the destructive energy of object dropped. To clarify more there would be a two main ways to put the payload in orbit. First one is to levitate it up. If a mage can levitate a given object at all they can move it up as high as he wants until spell runs out, but it is slow, you can only get about 3 to 4 kilometers in hour. Second one is to teleport it instantly, again if you can teleport object of given size and mass at all you can teleport it anywhere, and as one can teleport payload to the other side of the planet without issues we have to assume that magic somehow takes care of rotation of the planet. Both spells are reasonably common and there are a lot of mages able to perform them. Now as the spells are common there is a very little chance that the target can detect them and know that this time they are used to make a surprise for them instead of simply moving goods and people around. Putting stuff in orbit cannot be done on the sly. Sure you can put a house full of dog poop up in orbit, intending to magically drop it on me. But orbit is a long way up there, and the magical process of putting something there is super obvious to anyone with any magical sense. Not only does everyone know that the poop house is going up, but they see where you are too as you magically lift it. So now there is a house full of poop up there, and everyone with any magic knows you put it there and where you are. We don't know where you intend to drop it. But we know where you don't intend to drop it, back on top of yourself. And that is where we all think it should be dropped. Every wart witch, two-bit warlock and lich at loose ends can afford a little magic oomph to make sure that what goes up comes back down right on top of whomever sent it up. You are a doughty magician to be sure, with extra dot even, but you are no match for the combined spare magical change of the entire magical world. Poop house coming home.